Periphery. Hey everybody, this is Scott Garrigus from Digifreak, the music technology resource. And this is a demonstration of how to automate data selections in Cakewalk Sonar. Now, if you're using Sonar 8.5 or earlier, uh, the procedure goes a little something like this. First, let's press T to choose the Select tool. And then we'll um, right click on the track here, choose Envelopes, Create Track Envelope, Volume. And what I'm going to do is change the volume of this second snare hit in this multi-track drum project I've got going here. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then I'm going to click and drag, make a selection. Then I'm going to right click the envelope and choose Add Nodes at Selection. And Sonar automatically adds a node on the left and the right boundary of the selection. Now I can just take the envelope here and drag it up or down to adjust the volume. Now let's say I wanted to adjust the third snare hit rather than the second. Well, instead of going through that whole procedure again, I can just switch over to the envelope tool by pressing E. Then I can click and drag to select all four nodes and then grab one of the nodes here and just drag, oops, there it is. Nope, didn't get it. Let me try that again. Let me try selecting these. Okay, now grab the node and there we go. I can just drag this over. And now the third hit is being automated rather than the second. Now this whole procedure is even easier if you're using Sonar X1 or later. Now uh, let's take a look at that. I have the same project here in Sonar X1. And let's do the same procedure. I have the smart tool selected. That's F5 on the keyboard. And first we need to add an envelope. So I could go over here to the track pane and click the edit filter control. But it's actually easier if I have my mouse here in the clip area first and to just press T to bring up the tools HUD. And then I can use the edit filter right here. Choose automation and volume. And there's my volume envelope. Now what I'm going to do is click and drag to make a selection and position my mouse on top of the envelope or actually near the top of the clip until it turns into the um, envelope move tool. Okay, then I'm going to click and hold the left mouse button to add nodes to the selection. And then I can drag up or down and there we go. Now to adjust this like I did in Sonar 8.5, I can click and drag to select all the nodes and then hover over the node and click and drag that to move the entire thing over. Now, while I'm moving, you'll see that it, it's, you know, moving wildly around unless I really concentrate and hold my mouse level here. Well, in order to constrain my movement, I can first hold down the shift key, then click and drag in the direction you want to move. So if I drag horizontally, now I can't move vertically because I'm holding down the shift key and my movement's uh, constrained. I can also do that vertically let go of the uh, shift key and the mouse button, then I hold down shift, press and hold the mouse button and move vertically. Now my movements are being constrained vertically. See, I can't move horizontally here. And that helps uh, quite a bit when you're adjusting envelopes. The other great thing about working with envelopes in Sonar X1 is you can easily adjust envelopes on multiple tracks. So let's say I wanted this same exact envelope in all the other tracks. All right. First, I would go over here and select track three. Then choose edit, copy. Make sure there's only a check mark next to track bus automation and click OK. 
Now, I would make track two the active track just by clicking in the background area here and press Control Home to make sure the now time is at the beginning of the project and then press Control V to paste the envelope. And then I can do the same thing with track four. Click the background, Control V. Track five, click the background, Control V. Track six, click the background, Control V. Unfortunately, you can't uh, select the tracks all at the same time and then paste the envelope to all of them at the same time. Let's see, now what I wanna do is adjust all these envelopes at the same time. To do that, I'm gonna hover my mouse down here at the, um, at the last track, then click and drag upwards so I get a lasso. And I'm gonna lasso all these nodes. So now they're all selected. Now I can click on any of these nodes, doesn't matter which one, and it will adjust all the tracks. So let's uh, grab this corner node here. Uh, you'll see uh, see it change to the envelope move tool. Now click and hold and then drag, and now all the envelopes are adjusted. And of course you can use the shift key here as well to constrain the movement. So let's say I want to constrain horizontally. Boom, here we go. So now I can't move my mouse vertically, but I can constrain it horizontally to adjust the envelope. And then just let go. And there it is. So that is basically how you can automate data selections in Cakewalk Sonar. For more pro audio and music technology tutorials, go to digifreak.com question mark digifreak videos. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for the free newsletter at digifreak.com question mark digifreak to stay informed about when new videos are posted. In addition, check out garagus.com question mark pro audio tutor for professional audio DVDs and training.